I really like how when I haven't posted a video in like, I don't know, a week and a half, you guys get in my DMs on Instagram like, dude, are you okay? Bro, bro, you sad? Are you on your meds? Yeah, I'm good. I have other things to do. Like, you know, doing some slight remodels to the studio. That is why we're in this room right now, this completely unsoundproofed room. The studio's almost done. And I, I thought I thought it'd be like a good time to uh, try to try to get some endorsement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna audition for a G Fuel sponsorship. Now I don't play video games that much. However, it's a good product. I like it. I I've had about five, sixteen cups. G Fuel sponsorship audition. Take one. G Fuel. It gives you wings. <laughs> All right, guys, be sure to use the code Judy when you buy your next tub of G30%. This is kind of just like a sequel to the video I made a few weeks ago. Uh, my new Ibanez RGA. Is this the best Ibanez? If you guys want to know some Uncle Judy trivia, that is my most disliked video. And let me tell you why that is. It's because there's a bunch of boomers that wanted to see a legit gear review on that guitar. And uh, yeah, they came to me. And they swiftly found out that I, I'm a little edgy. I got called a racist because I said I have black friends. Uh, before we begin this video, I want to know, uh, what, what kind of guitar do you guys play, huh? Just just put it down in the comments. What kind of... You play a Yamaha? You got a Yamaha guitar? Hey, Ma! This dude play a Yamaha! I think he's Canadian. You ever notice that Yamaha makes everything good? I have a Yamaha keyboard. Yamaha makes jet skis good. And then they get over to guitars and they're just like, Who plays guitars? No one plays guitars. No one, no plays, one plays guitars. Guitar. Why do we need to make guitars good? We don't need to do that. Uh. I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off. I want to get this done in like an hour. I guess I'm just gonna do a really quick review on each of them. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. We gotta start out small and work our way up. Otherwise, this is not gonna be a good video. This is my Ibanez acoustic that I never play. But as you can tell, I was I was a 14 year old once too. I really thought that was cool. Like I actually thought that was a cool thing. I thought if I brought this to parties, and played it, I'd get some Poonanny with my Vans off the wall sticker. This was my first real acoustic guitar. Can you imagine the amount of Metallica acoustic riffs that have come out of this? That was stupid. This is a stupid video idea. Another thing you guys tell me in my DMs. Hey Judy, I have the, the white Ibanez. Yeah, I have that. I have that guitar too. Isn't it, is it crazy? Pull it out. Pull it out. I want it inside of me. I gotta pee really bad. I got this guitar when I was 15. Uh, I'm pretty sure my parents got it for me for Christmas. So again, it has a lot of Metallica riffs in it. Maybe even some Megadeth riffs. I love it when you put it on the insane mode, it just puts the drive all the way up. Look at this sticker right here. That's symbolic. That's like one of my first bands. Isn't that crazy? The Dave Mustaine replica Flying V. This guitar does not work because it's about $100 brand new. One of my most popular comments that I get on like every video now is that I look like Dave Mustaine. I see you guys. I hear you guys and I'm here to address your concerns. Are you smoking crack? I have long hair. That's kind of cool. I'm thinking about cutting it. Paul, should Judy cut his hair? I'm almost 20. I need to look a little bit more professional. I know that's that's so controversial. I just lost so many, so many people. Yes, hello. Come here. I'm not gonna cut my hair, do you metalheads. That's what I'm gonna start calling you guys, metalheads.
Never buy a flying V. I don't care how cool they look. They are the most impractical thing. It's like buying a Corvette as your only car. Oh, you can play sitting down in classical style. No, you can't because it just fucking... Don't buy a flying V. I hope you guys all know my main girl. Uh, this is Loretta. I just made that name up. Been to every gig for three years. She's ragged out, man. She's, she's not looking so good. Look at this. I got some wear right here from where the whammy bar does, does that. Put together with Velcro tape. This screw's coming out. There's been a set list on the back of it for about two years. I got it to rag out though. Uh, made in Mexico. Now a lot of you guys want to know why I don't own an American Strat or a guitar that cost over about a grand. It's because I don't care. I am not a materialistic person. This this guitar plays, doesn't it? It makes noise. If you need a $1,600 guitar to sound good, then you're a terrible guitarist. It's great for pentatonic scales. That's it, you guys don't get to see her anymore. It was all good until that one, that one right there, you, you pulled your wee wee out, you little horny boy. Go watch the Ibanez video if you wanna see this one. I. I'll play you something. I'll play you something. I'm so done with this amp. This is my Ibanez Tall Man Acoustic. Now this is the acoustic that probably gets the most use out of me. Uh, it is what I use for all my production when I need an acoustic guitar. I haven't changed the strings in a few months. They smell like dirty pennies. I would recommend getting one of these if you're looking for a very versatile kind of compact acoustic. I really do like this guitar, like no joke. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. It doesn't like sound as good as a normal acoustic, but it's cool. It's really cheap as well. This thing's like 300 bucks. Jazz guitar. Jazz guitar. Jazz guitar. Jazz guitar. Jazz gu I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I made a mistake buying this guitar. I never play it. It was very expensive. Probably one of my most expensive guitars. No, this is the most expensive guitar I own. And the issue is, I would just sell it, but uh, look at that right there. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I can't sell it. I could sell it for like $200 to a child. That's a pedal, by the way. That's from where I dropped it on a pedal. On stage, mind you. If I do need like to record a jazzy guitar sound though, I will use it. So I guess I get some use out of it. She is pretty sexy though, isn't she? She's all right looking. I'm not gonna lie, I've uh... I lied, this is my most expensive guitar. This is a Gibson Monarch uh, from like the 80s. <laughs> So I have a few more that are in storage that I just never play. For example, I have a Jackson Rhodes V and a James Hetfield Explorer. No, it's not the James Hetfield, it's just the LTD Explorer. But I have my very first guitar ever. Would you guys enjoy? Would you guys would you guys enjoy seeing it? Do you want you want to see it? <laughs> I said I was gonna fix it up about two years ago, and then I just never, never did that. I got this in 2008 is when this, that's crazy. So I was seven or eight years old. If you wanna see something really wholesome, um, go find this video of Baby Judy. Okay, there's your challenge for this video. Tell me what you want me to do to this guitar, all right? And I'll fix it up. Maybe I'll make a video out of it. That's actually a good video idea. I never get those. I never get- I think I got them all. I think I did all my guitars. I'm sure there's more. There's gotta be more. I have that orange bass. You guys don't- you guys- you, yeah, look at it. It's in this clip right here. What? What? You play bass? Simp, 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 cringe, cringe. Uh-uh. No, you, you- you're a bunch of good kids. You're a bunch of real good kids. I wanted to give you guys an update on the Uncle Judy signature model. Uh, yeah, still no Uncle Judy signature model. Uh, the Ibanez has not emailed me back. I cannot get in touch with Ibanez. However, I don't give up. You guys know that, I don't give up. I said I was gonna fix it up about two years ago and then I just never, never did that. When have I given up on anything? And there'll be a new video out very soon. It's already done, isn't that crazy? I'm getting ahead, I'm getting ahead of the game. Thanks for watching. You're gonna go far, kid. 
I haven't played this amp since I was 16 and the settings are all the same. Uh, the mids are all the way down, the bass and treble are all the way up.